Okay, uh, good morning, good afternoon, and uh, probably a good evening. So, my name is Johan, and I'm your lecturer for engineering mechanics in this uh, trying times. We have to uh, continue learning. So hopefully you guys can still remember me, your lecturer. Ah, uh, yeah, our topic is engineering mechanics. So as usual, uh, you guys can uh, refer to our VLE for a lot of things. Go to your VLE, login and uh, go to engineering mechanics so over here um, there are a lot of things that you can go through you can join our whatsapp group uh, click this link uh, definitely you can also join our online class uh, using microsoft teams and also a lot of things has been uh, refurbished look at our tutorials bar uh, we have a new engineering mechanics tutorial for 2020 and last time, uh, you were teaching without lecture notes, uh, without uh, PowerPoint. So I have revamped every lecture notes. There are 269 pages all in all. Uh, please review them. You can ask me anytime during the class. So we are now at uh, lecture notes number three, lah, which is statics, moment of force. So look at all these lecture notes. You have uh, lecture 1, 2, 3, up until 12. However, for this semester, we are only going to be uh, having 15 weeks. It's no longer 17 weeks for the time being. Huh? So, we'll follow through probably 90% of the materials. Hopefully, we can finish. It. Um, and then you can look at some tutorial solutions. The best tutorial solution is here. Definitely here. Look at uh, solution manual for statics and also solution manual for dynamics over here. All right, so let's start. So the topic that we are due next, which is something called moment of force. So let's take a look at what moment is all about. So number one, moment is uh, also known as sometimes torque. So moment is uh, something that you have it's a measure of the tendency of a force to cause a body to rotate so the key word here is definitely rotate about a point or about an axis so what is the tendency of an object uh, to rotate so that uh, that one we call it moment so most of the time when we are dealing with something called probably shafts so you're going to use stock. But most of the time for any rigid bodies, we're going to use moments. So moment needs to be uh, normally a rigid body. So you cannot have one particle, right? So particle is a small one. No, it's not a particle. It has to be some sort of a rigid body. That body has to have some sort of dimension. So if you look here, and the unit is Newton meter, so it is force multiplied by a distance. And the distance cannot be uh, any distance. It has to be a perpendicular distance. So for example, if I have something like this, some sort of a beam, I have a force at the end. So this is your F, your force. And uh, this is your distance. So the distance has to be 90 degrees. So this is a 90 degree angle here. So... This thing will rotate in such a way that it's like that. So the moment is rotating clockwise. So clockwise is a negative. So it's a negative moment if it's a clockwise. You have to remember your hand. Lah. So your right hand arm, uh, if it rotates counterclockwise, it's a positive. If it's rotating clockwise, it's a negative. So you don't have to remember the negative. Just remember the positive. 
positive is your right hand. It's rotating counterclockwise. So let's take a look at this picture here. This is a picture of somebody trying to uh, rotate a boat. So this is a boat, right? This is his hand. His hand is 90 degrees to this boat. So this is D. So D is your distance. Lah. So what is the distance? Uh, you have to uh, calculate. Lah. So the moment will be about this, this O axis. Lah. So the moment is rotating like that. Is this a clockwise or a counterclockwise? Yeah. So I'm going to answer myself. This is a counterclockwise CCW. So this is a positive. So he can do the same job, but now he is giving it an angle, something like that. So if this is the angle, you can do two things. Lah. This angle, most of the time we're going to do something like this. Lah. You're going to push the force uh, to the front and then you're going to resolve it into two components. So they've got this force and you have this force. If this is theta, this is going to be theta. This is your F, right? If this is your F, this is your F cos theta. This is your F sine theta. So if you look here, F cos theta is not causing the body to rotate. This thing is like just pulling it away like that. It's pulling it away. The only force which is rotating is this one. So it is F sine theta. And you multiply by the distance D. So this is your distance. So you have the value to be F sine theta multiplied by D. So the thing you will rotate in this axis. Or if you want to take this, this force, take this distance. It's going to be the same thing. Eh? Still the same thing. F times D sine theta. And the third picture, this is number three. This guy is not doing anything. This guy is not doing moment. He is trying to pull like that. This thing is not going to rotate. Lah. About Z axis, no. About Z axis, location O, no. No rotation, why? This is not a rotating force. So you have to remember, moment is about pure rotate. This is the keyword here. It has to rotate. Highlighter, rotate. This is very important. What else is important? Perpendicular distance is very important. So there are two keywords here. Rotate about an axis and perpendicular distance. The unit will be Newton meter. Most of the time we're going to use moment. Sometimes we're going to use torque. It's basically almost the same thing. So next. So these are some exercises. We are going to test our knowledge. I know you can uh, go next and find out the answer. No, don't do that. Don't go next and find out the answer. You need to uh, look at this and do it one by one, slowly and slowly. Then you will learn. Otherwise, you will not learn. All right, take a look at this. Uh, this is a beam. It's a long beam. You have a hundred newton meet, hundred newton here. It's rotating. Uh, it's going down like this, right? This is your force. If you look here, we have a shadow here, right? This is a shadow. This is what uh, the body is trying to undergo. Lah. So this force is actually uh, rotating in this direction. So number one, look at your right hand. Is this rotating in your right hand or not? So this is definitely rotating clockwise, so it's a negative. Somebody won't remember your right hand, right? Let's draw. Where is your right hand? This is your finger. This is your 
probably like that the best artist in the world this is your hand ah. this is your thumb it's rotating like that so this is positive remember that is positive this is definitely opposite <clears throat> so it's a negative so it's a negative <clears throat> a hundred newton times distance it has to be perpendicular 90 degrees distance so 90 degrees distance is going to be uh, okay so 2 meter lah. so 2 100 kali 2 meter negative 200 newton meter something like that ah you can see here lah you can check your answer so this is <clears throat> the most basic one lah very easy okay next next look at b b is uh yeah 50 newton it's going like this um you can see the shadow right it's rotating this way but you only can see this shadow in this question only lah in the final exam no there's no shadow you have to identify yourself uh look at you have to estimate lah how it is going to be so this thing is pushing like that definitely this thing is going down lah. it's not going up no way it's going up so it is like that it is clockwise cw so it's a negative again remember your distance has to be 90 degrees uh, so <clears throat> negative again so negative uh, 50 multiply by the distance definitely not uh, two meter anymore this is the distance <clears throat> 0 0.75 so negative 50 multiplied by 0 0.75 meter <clears throat> get your calculator okay don't look at the answer punch your calculator 50 by 0.75 negative 37.5 newton meter negative eh 37.5 cw clockwise so you can either do that or put a negative i think negative is better put a negative so i forgot to tell you something uh this direction okay never mind depends on the axis lah this one is actually k look at this this is z right so z is k so that is a value lah. if you rotate like that if you convert to vector it's going to be k value so next oh next we're going to see c here c huh? c is bottom here uh okay let's look at c this is c so this is slightly harder no it's not very hard look at the force and look at the perpendicular distance the this is the distance perpendicularly you don't have to look at the body even the body looks like this don't care look at the perpendicular distance 90 degrees it's weird teaching to the screen eh? all right show must go on 40 kilonewton okay 40 kilonewton this is the distance ah huh? don't add this one it's not the distance is not four plus two meter no wrong 90 degrees so it has to be four meter plus Plus this one, 2 cos 30 degrees. Punch in your calculator, 2 cos 30 degrees, 1.73. This is 1.73 meter, so becomes 5.73. 5.73 meter multiplied by force, 40 kilonewton. 
So 40 kilo Newton Kali 40 69.3 kilo Newton meter uh, Okay Now you decide lah Negative or positive It's rotating like that Following the clock Clock is negative Clockwise negative So it's a negative Then you press next eh No 229 Okay this is We're gonna follow this one 229 Huh Oh Did I multiply wrong 40 Times 5.73 Yeah 229 It's not 69 It's actually 229 I can rub it off A bit yeah, I can rub it off. Punch your calculator properly. 229. 229.2. Remember, 90 degrees. Ah, this one I have to do first, huh? Never mind. Okay. 7 kN. So, even though you have a body like this, it goes up, right? And then it goes down. It has to be, we are trying to find the moment here at O. O is here. So this is your O. So when O is here, you just have to take this dimension. Uh, uh, 7 kN multiply by this distance. So bukan 4 meter lagi lah. No, it's not 4 meter. Even though it goes up a bit, it has to be 3 meter. So, 4 meter minus 1. So, 21 kN. Counterclockwise. So, yeah. so, it's like that, right? Counterclockwise is a positive. This is the first counterclockwise. Huh? Okay. First counterclockwise. And finally, I think you get the hang of it. Can you get the hang of it now? So, you have to remember what? Huh? Yeah, 90 degrees lah. It's like, if you don't remember, you have to look at this photo. This is something that you can find in our workshop. It has a ruler here. It has uh, some sort of angle, 90 degrees here. Probably look like this. So this is a L square code. This is called L square. So this is an L square. So if you look properly, this thing will have, this is very heavy, right? Heavy. This is heavy. This is a ruler. So ruler is for measuring distance. This one is heavy, so this one is force. This one is force. So this is a... Uh, Distance, this one is 4, so this one is 90 degrees. 90 degrees. <clears throat> so, L square. Yeah, I spell this one as Q-U-A-R-E. Okay, L square. So, 90 degrees. Very important. So, even though you have a very funny shape, eh? very funny shape, Connie. You know, tengok force je lah. So, tengok. Force macam ni kan? So, L square kamu looking macam mana? Macam ni lah. Like this, like that. This is your ruler. This is your force. Ha, like that lah. So, this is your distance. So, don't get confused by 3 meter. No, don't get confused. This is your distance. 1 sine 45. So, next thing that you're going to be confused is how does it rotate? Mm, later on I'll show so this is the distance 1 sine 45 so 60 kN this thing is rotating like that so it's clockwise no, counterclockwise so it's a positive positive lah times 1 sine 45 degrees huh. tengok jawapan 
terang 60 by 1 sin 45 degree tu ya tering tering oh no ok boleh padam tak? Ah, boleh padam 60 1 sin 45 1 sin 45 42.4 newton meter CCW, no need to put CCW lah in your uh, answer. Just leave it blank for positive, the rest you put negative. So, yeah, this is all about it. So, I know you guys are worried about uh, how to... Okay, let's put a white screen. So, this is a white screen. You are worried if you have a certain structure probably something very funny like this let's say this is a pin joint this is rotating like this uh, it should be supported somewhere probably another pin joint here probably another roller here so this is a structure supported like that Ah, China. Uh, you have some sort of forces, lah. Probably you have a force like this. Seratus newton, like that, lah. Hmm. Okay, lah. Something like that. Very simple. So you are worried how to determine positive or negative. So let's say the point of interest is here, O. You are interested at this point, this axis. So you have to imagine lah. Imagine. Uh, so this is you lah. You are sitting here. This is the point of interest. This is your 100 Newton. This will rotate like that lah. If you still cannot see this, draw this in your... Very big A4 paper. Hmm, I love drawing. Luckily. So this is your pen. P-E-N. Put a pen here. Cucuk pen here. Cucuk this pen. How do you draw? Cucuk this pen here. This is a pen. This is your A4 paper. Cucuk pen. Get a, get a paper. Okay. Chucho a pen here. Chucho it and then use your thumb or your finger. This is your nails. Push it. So if you push it like that, this whole paper will rotate lah. It's going to rotate like that. The whole paper will rotate. So look at the paper. Your paper is rotating clockwise or counterclockwise? Uh, this is rotating. CCW counterclockwise so positive or remember your hand lah. This is your hand. This is your thumb. Wow, very creepy. <laughs> this is your hand from the top. This is your hand. This is some sort of your thumb. Uh, so, the rotation is yellow, red. You like that? So, it's a positive. Okay. Previous one. Next one. Ah. So, now let look, let's take a look at example number one. Example number one. Chonting. Okay. Example number one. Don't press next, okay? Don't do this. No. Don't do that. Look at the blank page and do this on your own. So you can pause the video at any time. Pause the video. So you've got a beam like this. This is 45 degrees. Okay. 45 degrees like that. So how are you going to calculate? Uh, this is 90 degrees here. This is D. Hmm. Just senang je. So you need to find out what is uh, this angle, kah? 
susah je ni dia kena resolve so you have to resolve this is uh, 5 kilo newton you have to resolve into two direction one is like this the other one is like that this is the easiest method so 5 kilo newton or you can uh, get this d kalau dapat d lagi settle lah kan lebih senang lah tapi not really this is the best way 5 kilo newton resolve you need 45 kan so you're gonna get this one is 5 cos 45 degrees this one will be definitely be 5 sine 45 degrees so berapa ni kali get your calculator now 5 cos 5 cos 45 cos 45 3.54 3.54 kilo newton kah? ok, kilo newton ini pun sama kan 3.54 kilo newton resolve like this and then get the 90 degrees punya distance so this distance and then this distance adalah kata lain nama D1 so ini dapat macam ni lah so moment moment sama dengan hmm 5 cos 45, 5 cos 45 degrees. Like that lah. This one rotate like this. Negative lah. So this one is a negative. Kali dengan D1. Ini pula. 545. Again it's a negative. Uh, 5 sin 45 sin 45 degrees kali dengan D2 di manakah D2? inilah D2 hmm. if you can settle the ang uh, distance uh, mudah so both values you're gonna get negative values huh? moment at O ni total moment at O uh, macam ni so uh, this is how you do it D1 and D2 90 degrees, remember if you forget draw this one draw your L square this is your force this is your ruler pembaris ok, let's take a look macam mana dia buat? Ah, ni, settle ok, I don't want you guys to get confused 5 kN cos 45 5 kN sin 45 dx sama dengan 3 cos 30 degrees 3 adalah this distance is 3 meter and then uh, look at uh, yeah, sama on the baik sama negative 5 cos 45 dia suka buat macam ni eh mm, dia rotate macam ni apa nama dia ni mm, clockwise don't do this. Put a negative. 14.5 kilo newton meter. This is our understanding lah. Put negative better. Okay. So this is ah uh, number one. The question that you should do. Next. You want to take a break? Pause the video lah kan. Senang je. Okay. Ah. This one. Easier kot. This one looks very easy. So, uh, grasp the question first. So, this is some sort of a bracket. Huh. Normally, dia suruh cari kat O kan? Oh, dia cakap O kat atas. Kalau O kat bawah, huh, cari lah kat bawah kan? So, apparently, this bracket, if it were to fail, uh, ini bolt kat atas ni yang paling nak keluar ni. So, critical area is O lah. 
So we have to look at O lah. So it's trying, okay, carilah dekat O. Force about, bukan force kan, moment of force about point O. So now, you guys will understand lah. It's very easy. Resolve into two components. Like what we have been doing for so long lah. Okay. So, 400 Newton. So, you guys know the drill lah. Ini, 400 cos 30 degrees. Cos 30 degrees. Definitely, this one is 400 sine 30 degrees. 400 cos 30 degrees. Man, my writing is so bad. Again, 400 cos 30 degrees. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, 400 cos 30 degrees. Macam mana dia rotate lah? Ha? Ha, 400 sin 30 kan? Dia putar. Dia akan putar macam tu lah. Why like this? About point O. This is point O. This is where you are. Benda Allah ni. This is where you are. Tu ya. Ha, betul lah. Ha, like this. So, this is the distance lah. 400 sin 30. And it rotates up. Macam mana lah. Ini tangan kanan lah. Okay, tengok tangan kanan. Ya, this one is a positive. So, moment O sama dengan 400 sin 30 betul ke? 400 sin 30 uh, kali dengan 0 0.2 meter uh, 0.2 it's a positive no need to put a sign lah positive ok continue this is going down so 400 cos 30 400 cos 30 turun bawah. Dia rotate macam mana? This one rotate like that. This one rotate like this. Betul ke? So, it's a negative ke positive. This one is macam clockwise je ni. Arah jam. So, this one is a negative. This one is a negative. So, this one is a negative. So, put a negative sign. 400 cos 30. 400 cos 30, going down. Distance is actually 0 0.4. So, dapat value dia. So, use your own calculator. Key in the value properly. Berapa jawapan? The jawapan should be Newton meter. This is the unit lah. The unit should be in Newton meter. Punch in your calculator. I'll wait. Make sure it's correct. And then you press next. Well, you cannot press next, alright? When you're studying alone, you press next, okay? Mm. 400 sin 30 kali 0.2, betul? Tolak. Nah, betul lah. 400 cos 30 kali 0.4. Negative 98.6 Newton meter or you can represent it like this lah. Oh yeah, see? Uh, K. Kalau K, maksudnya dia define lah. Dia define, uh, dia define macam ni lah. Sini kan X, sini kan Y. Keluar ni. Keluar ni Z lah. Ha. So it's like that lah. It's like that. This is your K. This is your X. Alamak, this is your Y, this is your Z. So, I, J, K. Vector, remember? So, if you were to represent it in vector, it is K value, Newton meter. Next. 
more exercises more exercises and more exercises so i think for online lecture we're going to do like a one hour one hour online lecture but you have to take this on your own pace right normally in the class we do it in our own pace right one hour is going to be probably around two hours so uh yeah this one you have to do on your own definitely you're going to have the answer but there's no challenge in that you have to go this on your own so pause lah i should not press tell you guys to push uh, next space bar pause the video so look at this problem they are trust asking you to look for uh, don't press so long oh this is where you are you are standing here at location O. So 100 Newton is going like that. Easiest method is for you to do like this, right? This is 100 Newton. This is uh, this red. This one is like that. This one is definitely 100. Proper, but only 5. You need 100. Bawah dia adalah 5. Ini. Berapa? Tengok ni lah. Horizontal component 4. So letak sini. Horizontal component 4. Vertical component 3. Put here. Vertical component 3. So this is uh, the best way to do it lah. Resolve. Kalau tak nak buat macam ni, susah sikit lah. Boleh juga cari distance ni. Ting. Ting cari distance ni terus. Whereas this one is 90 degrees. Kali je dengan D. Boleh juga. But very hard. So let's not do this. Let's not do this. No, 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 no. no. Okay, so... After resolving, you have this this one component horizontal, ke? No, yeah, betul lah horizontal. This one will make the structure to rotate in this this direction. So this one rotate this direction, negative or positive? This one is a negative. Okay. So let's write down. Moment. Sama dengan 100 4 over 5 Negative eh? Put a negative lah in front Put a negative in front And then again this one This one will rotate like this car So the problem with online lecture I don't know whether I'm correct or not lah. If it's wrong, you know the drill lah. Check on your own This one is negative lah Oh luckily we have your answers lah negative negative yeah it's another negative 100 100 3 over 5 ini salah ni ha kan dah salah lupa kali distance ha this is a very common mistake when you're doing things like this Ini ada force je. Tak ada distance pun. No, so there's no distance. Luckily, I can rub it off. Huh? So now, we gotta kali the distance. The distance is perpendicularly to. And then this one. 100. Another negative. Uh... 100 3 over 5 100 3 over 5 kali dengan 5 meter so the value should be negative another negative and the final value should also be negative so punch in your calculator pause space bar whatsoever you have to do it physically punching in your calculator then you get the answer so now you should pause. Okay, you guys know the drill. Tring, tring, 
negative 4 over 5 100 betul tak ah minus negative 3 over 5 100 kali 5 hmm, ya betul sebaik lah jawapan so this is the value you can leave it like this tak payah letak vector pun tak apa we're not doing vector yet no not yet ok so this is question uh, exercise number 1 Exercise number two. It looks kind of weird, right? But same drill. I don't care about the structure shape. For all I care, this structure can be like this. Let's see. This structure is. I don't care if it's like this. For all I care, it can be a snake shape. Oh. It can be a snake shape whatsoever. I don't care. It's the same procedure. Maybe the structure is like this. Like this, like this, like this. Goes like that, goes like that. And then goes all the way. Ha! Huh, pelik gila structure ni kan? Tapi tak kisah tau. It doesn't care what is the structure look like. It can even be like this. I don't give a damn. Sorry. So, it doesn't matter what the structure looks like. What matters is this one only. What is it? Uh, yeah, you guessed it. Yang penting ni je. Force resolve. Ni tak 90 degrees lagi ni. Oh, boleh lah. Boleh lah, boleh lah. Nah. 90 degrees. Tereng. So, I only care about this. Forget what the structure looks like. This is 45. This is 45. So, 500 cos 45. 500 sine 45 degrees. 500 cos 45 500 sin 45 Betul ke? 500 cos 45 500 sin 45 Betul lah It goes up like that So ha, Itu je lah So ini force ha, You still not sure This is your distance D I told you one hour right It's going to be one hour lah Hmm, 500 cos 45 So D D1 Inilah distance dia Lupa lagi Kalau lupa lagi draw lah Draw your L square Your ruler 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 Force Why force? Heavy right? This is heavy So this is your ruler So this one D1 is your distance Macam mana nak cari ni lah Macam mana nak cari D1 lah Ting, ting, ting. Oh, senang je. Senang je kan? This is your triangle, right? Hmm. Think about it. This distance. 3 meter. Ha, ha, ha. This is 3 meter. This is D. So, boleh guna lah. Sign ke cos ke tangent ke? Opposite of hypotenuse. Sign. Betul lah. Um, sign. You sign to get D1. So again, you have solved for, for which one? Ah? You have solved for this one. Lah. This one is required for 500 punya value. Next, next we are solving this one. 500 sine 45. Again, this is has to be perpendicular distance. This is your perpendicular distance. This is your D2. Ini rotate macam mana? Negative ke positif? Ha? Ini rotate macam gini kan? Macam gini kan? Rotate like that. Kamu tarik ni, bedak Allah ni mesti turun lah. So, this like this, this is a negative lah. Negative because it's a clockwise. 
Ini pula naik atas kan? 500 sin 45 kan? 500 sin 45. Like that go up. So this one is rotating like that. Okay. Did you get me? So it's rotating like that. Tereng. So going up is actually positive. Positive. Yeah. They are instants. You're going to see one negative, one positive. It's not always the case. Both are negative or both are positive. No. Sometimes they're dua dua. Ini positive, ini negative. So, right. Moment. Sama dengan. Lupa dah. Ini negative eh. Ini negative. Negative 500. Cos 45. Remember, kali distance. B1. Ha, carilah distance ni. And then, positive pula. Atas ni positif. 500 sin 45 degrees. Kali dengan D2. D2 berapa eh? Hmm. Hmm. Boleh lah ni cari ni pula. Ini distance X. Campur dengan 3 meter kan? Dapat ni. Tereng. Campur 3 meter. Dapatlah D2. D2 sama dengan 3 campur X. 3 meter campur X. Itu adalah 3 campur X. Negatif, positif. Lepas tu tengoklah. Siapa menang? Negatif menang ke positif menang? Kalau negatif menang, your structure will rotate clockwise. Kalau negatif. Kira-kira-kira positif menang. Jawapan dia positif. Ini apa negatif eh? Positif menang dia akan rotate counterclockwise lah the structure. So you know the drill lah. This force akan menyebabkan the whole structure rotate uh, either positive or negative. Counterclockwise or clockwise. So this is how you decide lah. So now the writing becomes jumbled up lah. So but you have the original notes. You can look what is the value. Ya, yeah, jawapan dia 1.06 kilo newton meter. So the jawapan is did it a bit. The jawapan is positive. Kalau positif, siapa yang menang? Air atas ke turun bawah. Positif. So it rotates like that. This is a positive. It will rotate counterclockwise. So Moment dekat O ni dia macam ni lah. Macam itu. Ha. Ini yang menang. Positif menang. Hooray. Berapa pace lagi ada? Satu. Banyak lagi. Yang main. Okay. Ada uh, satu, dua. Tiga. Empat. Lima. Enam. Tujuh. And then we go to 3D. Okay, so each uh, video lecture is going to be one hour lah. Uh, upload more lah. Where are we? Eh? We still have about five more minutes. Four more minutes. Boleh buat dua-dua ni lah. Five more minutes. Boleh buat ke ni lah. I'll upload uh, one hour by one hour lah. Easier for you guys to follow through. So this is where we end, which is at exercise number, not end dah ke? Exercise number three. Or should I do one more? Never mind lah. We'll end it first. And then I'll upload one more. Alright. See you in the next video lecture. We stop here at exercise number three. No, no. Not stop. You guys should follow through. Do this until uh, finished. All this through. We'll discuss the solution in uh, next video. Okay. Keep your ink annotation. Hmm. Discard, yeah. Discard.